friends welcome to my channel my name is Kate and today we're going to be doing a lipstick and a lip gloss declutter I have one mouth um, and a lot of lipstick so we're gonna go through it today I do want to preface this by saying my dogs um, hang out in my beauty room with me so I apologize if you hear background noise it is them repositioning you can actually kind of see Minnie's paws over here um so i i just want to <laughs> apologize in advance for that um if this is something that you are interested in then i would encourage you to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and without any further ado let's get into it Now that we are a bit more organized, um, I have organized things into brand piles and types. I know back here um, it really looks like a hodgepodge, um, but I swear there is a method to my madness. Um, before we get going though, I just want to preface a couple other things. So I am not um, an influencer. I'm not somebody that receives free product for my opinion. Um, nobody cares about my opinion, which is fine. Um, so I'm really just on here because I really enjoy it. Um, and I enjoy connecting with folks that also love beauty and makeup. So for me, decluttering is not <laughs> meant to be like me getting rid of every last thing. Um, it's meant to get rid of things that are no longer serving me. So I just want to preface that. Um, it's not going to be this like, oh, I'm getting rid of everything because for me, that's literally throwing away money. Um, the other thing, worth noting here is that I am doing this with the intention of getting rid of things that no longer serve me however <laughs> I have a couple of brands several brands that I just love 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 um and so I won't be getting rid of anything from those collections um and I know collecting makeup and having a makeup collection is really not super productive um however there are just certain brands and certain people that I love to support and so having things that remind me of them and remind me of a time in my life when you know I was able to connect with them through social media um it just it makes me feel good it brings me joy so there will be like entire collections like i'm gonna tell you right now anything from laura lee los angeles or lunar beauty they're not going anywhere babes they're not going anywhere so um i just wanted to preface that anyways on with the show so we're gonna start with this bin here there was a time um when i really loved jeffree star cosmetics um i also at that time really really loved liquid lipsticks so this is honestly like what most of this is here um there was a time when i really had that collector's mentality around it and i no longer support jeffree star cosmetics um there was a time when i was ignorant to things that he had said and done and now that i know better i do but i don't mean this to be shaming people that maybe enjoy the company's makeup um i'm not really looking to like make people feel bad or judge people. Um, it's just for me, it's not a brand that I am comfortable supporting. Um, that being said, I already have all of this. So I think honestly, the liquid lips, most of them are gonna be so old that they need to just go away. Just go away. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I've ever used these two glosses. I, I know I have used this one this one is in the shade 
too small to read. No. Um, ir iridescent Throne, um, as well as the Shade Sorcery. Um, golly, I just don't really know. The thing of it is here is, again, the liquid lipsticks I know can go. Um, these glosses I can pass along to someone that could probably get some better use out of them than I'm going to. For reasons unknown, I have a lip liner in here in the shade Gemini. I can probably pass that along. I'm willing to bet I've never used it given that it's over here <laughs> and all of my other lip liners are not over here. So we also have this gloss here and this is in the shade Candy Drip. I'm trying to decide because the thing is, is that I already own them. So I'm trying to identify with myself at this moment. Um, like, am I going to get any use out of any of these? Out of these <laughs> glosses, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this shade. This is the shade Mouthful. And then I'm also going to go ahead and hold on to this little pink one. And again, that one is Candy Drippin. Um, I just know me and I know I'm not going to use any of these. So I'm going to pass these along to someone that may get some use out of them. I also know I've never worn them because I don't wear gloss. Why did I even buy these? Who knows? I am going to also pass these two along because I'm not going to get any use out of these. The only liquid lipsticks I am going to keep are these two, technically three. This is just a duplicate. Um, and that is because these were in collaboration with Manny MUA. And if you don't know, it was a whole time. It was a whole time in YouTube history. Um, I love, I still love Manny. Um, and these, I'm just gonna hold on to for now and like keep them in my makeup vault. Um, certainly I'm not using these. Certainly I haven't used these probably in years at this point, but I'm gonna hold on to these two. The rest um, of these, I'm going to probably put up in bundles on my Poshmark because I know there's people out there that collect Jeffree Star cosmetics. So they would want them maybe in the sense that they are like collecting them to display, not necessarily to use. Um, so again, if that's you, I will uh, link these or rather link my Poshmark down below. Um, but if somebody wants to collect these and wants to pay <laughs> a very small fee for these, um, I will have them linked below. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is um, a liquid lipstick in the shade Mannequin. I used to love this shade. Um, it still looks like it is pretty good. So honestly, I'm just going to hold on to this for right now um, because I do think I'll get some use out of this. I have a handful of liquid lipsticks here by Morphe. Um, I got these on sale at some point. I'll go ahead and do some swatches for you guys. So these are the shades swatched. From left to right, we have Pep Talk, Bloodshot, Virgin, and Hot Shot. Um, honestly, I just think these are expired. I don't know the last time I wore these and none of these colors, I'm like, oh my gosh, how unique, I have to keep it. So I am going to get rid of all of these. As you can see um, down here and here, I have a small collection of Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I am going to be holding on to all of these. Um, if I'm going to wear a liquid lipstick these days, this isn't going to be my go-to formula. So I'm going to go ahead and honestly just hold on to all of these. Um, there are some like shades, like there's this really bright one called I'm In It. Um, and I think it's honestly from her Brights collection. Um, and these colors I wear less often, certainly. However, I do like to have them available if I want to be able to wear them. So we're just gonna put these in the basket. Along those same lines, I have a slew of um, Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipsticks. These two shades I have here are Spicy Pink and Coral Pop. Coral Pop is a little bit older, um, and I just want to show you guys. So here's the thing. I ordered this within the last year, and it's just, it's like a little bit more moussey. It's still a really beautiful color. Um, I just kind of want to give a cautionary tale that... 
I do not think Laura Lee Los Angeles is making this shade anymore or any of the others that came in this collection. So if you're going to order it on her website, just be aware that it's like been sitting for a while. Um, honestly, I'm still going to use it. <laughs> However, um, it's not going to be as long lasting, obviously, as some of her newer shades. Um, and she did just come out, I think within the last year with some newer shades. Um, so here we have Coral Pop and then we have Spicy Pink. And I don't know, I don't think my camera is picking it up, which is just lovely. Um, but Coral Pop is definitely just a little bit more moussey. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to honestly everything, um, from Laura Lee. So I'm not going to be getting rid of them. I did just want to like note that though, that like some of the older shades, um, if you're shopping her website are older stock and they've been sitting there. So just something to be super mindful of. Um, I also have these two glosses. Um, that was her collaboration with her niece, Erin Weaver. I love these one. The shade Ebug is my absolute favorite. So we're gonna go ahead and hold on to those. Along those same lines, I have a whole slew of lip glosses, lip oils, liquid lipsticks from Lunar Beauty. Um, and I am going to be holding on to all of those. So we're just gonna put those right in the basket. I have these four Vava Plump liquid lip mousses, lip creams from Buxom. And this is what they look like. Honestly, I can't tell you the last time I used this formula. I don't even know if they still make this formula. So there's a couple like pretty shades in here, but given that I have not worn them within the last definitely two years, they just, they gotta go. Um, so here we have some bullet lipsticks by Prapa Beauty. They are a small black owned beauty brand. Um, and as far as I can recall, I believe they only sell lipsticks on their site right now. Um, and I have six of them here. I swatched three of them for you. They're a really beautiful, creamy formula and they have so many different beautiful nudes to choose from. So I am going to be holding on to these. Again, I just, I really enjoy the formula and the color selection. I feel like they're all pretty unique. So these are from ColourPop and these are their lippy sticks. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys so that we can kind of make a decision on whether I'm going to keep these. So these are them swatched. So from top to bottom, we have Sassy, Oh Behave, Brat Pack, Parker, and Cami. I think the only one that I'm probably like on the fence about here is Cami. So I think I'm gonna let Cami go and then I'm gonna go ahead and keep the rest. It's just that Cami is this pinky one at the bottom here and I know that I have plenty of other products with the, a very similar tone um, and this just is not my absolute favorite formula. So I'm gonna let Cami go and I will keep the other four. I have four of these little Juicy Bombs um, and these are from Essence. These are a super cost-effective option and honestly, I'm going to hold on to all of these primarily because in the summer, I like to throw these in my different beach bags um, and have them on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to these. This one by Essence is Shine, 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. Um, I'm trying to see. Oh, this is the shade Happiness in a Bottle. I've had this forever, so it's expired and it just needs to go. This Fruit Fetish Balm by M Milani is their Kiwi Watermelon one. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this because it is a lip balm. Um, I'm just gonna honestly probably move it out of my beauty room because a lip balm is something that I use as needed, <laughs> not so much um, for the aesthetic of it all. So I'm gonna hold on to it, but it's gonna get the boot out of my beauty room. I have these three Demi Matte Lip Creams by Huda Beauty. Um, I'm gonna be honest, this is not my favorite formula. Um, I prefer, if I'm gonna wear a liquid lipstick, I would prefer that it dries down all the way and that it doesn't move throughout the day. So I'm definitely going to be decluttering two of these, I think. So I think the one that I'm going to keep is this shade here, and this is in the shade Shiro. Um, and then the other two are Chica and Passionate. So I'm gonna go ahead and let go of these two. I have a couple of products here that I don't really know either like where they came from or why I have them. So this one here is by Ola Neon and it is a velvet liquid lipstick. This is in the shade 
the easy sell I don't know where this came from um, it's not a shade that I'm like chomping at the bit to have in my collection so I'm gonna go ahead and let that go it looks like this L'Oreal one um, I got at CVS based on the sticker my assumption is that it's something where you put like the liquid lip here and then the gloss and it's supposed to be like a long-lasting glossy lip um, yeah, I'm just, I'm probably not, <laughs> probably not going to be reaching for this super often. The color is pretty, but it's just not something I'm going to wear every day. I have this by Nude Sticks, um, and it is their Magnetic Lip Plush Paint. Mine is in the shade Wakiki Rose. Um, I've honestly never tried this so I guess I'll hold on to this for now um and give it a go but I don't again like this is one of those it's like I don't know where this came from I'll hold on to it for now but it's not looking good you know it's not looking good I have this which I think is a liquid lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics this has to have been something I got in like a boxy charm or something um because I personally don't think I've ever bought anything directly from Gerard Cosmetics I don't know a lot about the brand. I know that there's like been rumors of controversy throughout the years. I just, I don't know what it is. So the color is pretty. Um, I just don't know. And this is in the shade 1995. So I guess I can hold on to it. I don't think I've ever actually used it on my mouth. I don't, I didn't know I had the darn thing. Um, so I'll hold on to it for now. I have these two um, lip balms or lip gloss sticks from ColourPop and it was their collaboration that they did with Candyland. I remember being super excited for that collection and then being so sorely disappointed when I got my hands on it. So these are them swatched. You literally cannot even tell. There's one to the left of the like little pink one. Um, they're just they're super faint. They have like a peppermint scent which is lovely and all. Um, I'm just not going to get great use out of these they're not super hydrating they're nothing super special other than the fact that they're like Candyland themed so I'm gonna go ahead and pass these on I have these two lip glosses by ColourPop this is their luxe gloss these are from the raw beauty Christie collaboration um, I, I'm gonna hold on to these for total transparency the luxe gloss formula is absolutely not my favorite I find it to be like goopy and I don't think that it's super long wearing um, so it's just not a formula that I love. However, I do love Raw Beauty Christie. Um, so I, w I will likely always hold on to these. So along with that sentiment, I'm going to hold on to these. I have these two lip glosses as well. Um, these are from Alamar Cosmetics. This was their Encanto collaboration and I just love these. I love Encanto. I love Alamar Cosmetics. So um, I'm definitely going to hold on to these. I, I know I'm not a gloss gal, but I will be so sad if I <laughs> declutter these. So I'm going to hold on to them for now. I have three little randoms here. This one is by, uh, Vintage by Jessica Liebskind. I have no idea who that is if we're being really transparent I've never even opened this and the reality is is that I have other glosses that I'm gonna use over this one so I'm gonna let this one go um, along that same line this one is from Juvia's place I've never used it um, gold does not typically look great on me as far as like makeup like highlighter that's gold is not great on me lip gloss that's gold does not look great on me so I'm gonna pass this one along as well and finally there's this one by Rena Beauty I have never even opened it. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's pretty, but I am, I already have enough. So I'm going to pass this one along. A couple more kind of random glosses. This one again was part of that ColourPop collection they did with Candyland and it was supposed to be a roller gloss. This is, I bought it again, Candyland so cute, but also like this was supposed to be super nostalgic and it was horrific um it smells fine but it does not work well it's not glossy <laughs> it's none of the things you wanted it to be it's it's so lackluster i'm gonna let this go um this gloss is actually really beautiful this is in collaboration with sigma and their cinderella collab i really enjoy this one I'm gonna hold on to that and then this one an unsuspecting little cutie um this is from the sour patch watermelon no 
I think it's just Sour Patch collaboration with Morphe. Um, this is in the shade Watermelon, though. I am going to hold on to this one just because I love Sour Patch Kids, specifically the watermelons. Um, so this is one I will get use out of. If for no other reason, then I just want to, like, smell this. So I'm going to hold on to this one. I have a handful of the Fenty glosses here. Um, and honestly, I think I got these, like, oh, gosh, probably several years ago in, like, some kind of a kit. Um, and I like them just fine. I think honestly they're a little overhyped in the sense that they're not like super hydrating. They don't do anything like over the moon amazing. Um, they're not like, they're not super sticky. They're not gross. They're not a bad formula. Um, it's, and it's probably, honestly, it's probably just me. I'm not like a humongo gloss fan. I do have this one <laughs> that I have used for years. Um, and this is fussy. Fussy is my favorite shade. Um, so I'm honestly, I'm going to hold on to this despite the fact that it looks like it's been through the ringer. Um, I'm going to hold on to it because I think I could probably use this one up. Um, and I am going to hold on to these little guys too, just because again, it's a decent formula. Um, and I will probably get some use out of these. I'm missing one admittedly. Um, but yes, I'm going to hold on to these. I have a couple of Pat McGrath mini lip glosses here. If I had to choose a favorite formula for lip gloss, it would definitely be the Pat McGrath. I just think that it's, it looks the most unique. It's definitely like a special formula. So I'm going to hold on to these. I would honestly say that like I've had these for several, several years now, like at least three years. Um, I'm sure they're expired. However, they still smell well. They still work well. So I am going to hold on to these. I would say, honestly, if you can find her gloss formula in these like little mini sizes, go for it because uh, using a whole gloss is so hard um but her gloss formula is really nice so i'm gonna hold on to these i have these two kind of like random um red liquid lipsticks so this one is by dior and it is in the shade 999 and then i have this one by yoma beauty and this is in the shade grace so i did some swatches i'm hoping this is gonna show up on camera because grace is actually it has like really beautiful glitter particles in there so I am going to keep both of these. If I'm going to wear a red lip, I honestly so much prefer it to be a liquid lipstick because if my red lipstick is like moving around on my mouth because I'm eating or drinking or something, I look really ridiculous. So um, I am going to hold on to both of these. I have these two little random friends. Um, this one is by Glam Light and it is in the shade Caramel Frappe. It literally smells so good i have not i'm gonna be honest i've never tried this one i'm gonna hold on to it to give it a go and then i didn't know i had this i don't know how i got it um it's a Too faced lip injections i haven't used these in years because i remember hating how it felt on my lips so I, if i had to guess as to how i ended up with this i probably placed a Too faced order and this like came like as a free gift or something i'm gonna hold on to it because i am like kind of curious like masochist so you know um <laughs> as to how it's gonna be but i i'm not feeling confident you know i'm not feeling confident i have these two lip mousses by jacqueline cosmetics i have last first kiss and then i have one and only i like this formula actually i feel like it's one of those that kind of like slides under the radar i suspect it's the shade range honestly um but i like these are they my like absolute die hard favorite colors no but the formula is really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and hold on to these i used to be such a stan for kylie cosmetic lip kits um back in the day uh however i only have four left and two of these are the same shade which is actually kind of a bummer because the color that I was kind of hoping I still had was exposed and I don't have that anymore. So I have this one, which is the shade 21. This one's just super old and it's going to go. Um, I have two of candy K. It is probably my favorite shade in the line. I just, am not convinced I need two. So I'm going to hold on to one and then get rid of another. And then the last one that I have is posy K and I will hold on to this as well. I have four lip oils here. Um, these three are from Sigma Beauty. Sigma Beauty makes my absolute favorite lip oil formula. So this is not even all of them. These are just the three that are up here. I keep these in every single bag 
and in like every drawer in the house. They're just so good. Um, so absolutely will not be decluttering these. And then I have this one by Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is also a nice formula. It's not my, it's not, it's not the Sigma formula, but it's certainly not a bad formula. If you can get this on a discount, I think you would not be disappointed. However, my number one formula is the Sigma. I have this really cute lip gloss trio um, by ColourPop and it is, oh gosh, probably from a couple winters ago. It's a collaboration with Hello Kitty. Um, if you don't know, I've loved Hello Kitty since I was a little girl. So anytime I have an opportunity to like find something Hello Kitty and um, keep something Hello Kitty, I'm going to do that. So honestly, I'm just going to hold on to these. If for no other reason, then it's Hello Kitty. I have two bullet lipsticks by Morphe. Um, and then these are in the shades. Let's just see here. No, um, single AF and bare all. Um, I have not used these. I also have no idea when I got them. So I'm going to go ahead and pass these right along because they're matte formula. Um, if I recall, I recall not disliking these. I recall actually probably enjoying them. However, if I'm, I have, look at these are all bullet lipsticks so i just don't think i need these right now i have these three lipsticks here from wet n wild um i'm trying to determine like what the consistency is here so the black one is their matte formula the packaging is like super cute for what it is but i hated this formula so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that um this one is in a red color and this is the consistency, the bottom one. I don't know if you can see, but it does give off a bit of sheen, but I'm not going to wear this red one in this formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that along. And then I did swatch this one down here and it's, while it is a pretty color, I just, I don't recall the last time I reached for it. But you know what? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. I don't remember the last time I reached for it, so it's it's gonna go. And that was in God knows what shade because <laughs> they put like some kind of stamp right over the right over the bottom. So I'm gonna let that go. I have these four liquid lipsticks from Kaleidos. These are all in like really beautiful nude shades. These are actually fairly new to my collection within the last year. So I'm definitely going to hold on to all four of these. I have a handful of MAC bullet lipsticks so I can go ahead and swatch these so that we can see which ones are going to be contenders. Okay so here <clears throat> they are swatched so at the top we have Dare You, below that we have Down to an Art, below that we have Mocha. Don't Down to an Art and Mocha look kind of similar. And then the first, these two at the bottom are allegedly the same one. I, they look different to me, but maybe that's just me, but I apparently have two in the shade mullet over. So I'm definitely going to keep one of the mullet overs. So I'll show you guys. These are apparently the same. They swatch a little differently, which is a little odd, but <clears throat> that's here nor there, I suppose. So I'll keep one of them and I will pass one of them along. And then honestly, I think I'm gonna keep the other three. MAC is just like one of those like tried and true formulas that I know that I enjoy. Um, I know typically I said I don't enjoy reds in a bullet form and that does reign true. However, I think this is like the exception, the one exception <laughs> that I can make about like a true red. I have two of these little bite-sized Pat McGrath lipsticks in her matte trance formula. These have been well-loved, like very well-loved. Um, and honestly, at this point, they're quite old and I need to let them go. That one um, is in the shade Full Panic and it looks really rough. Um, so we're gonna let that one go. Then we have this other little red one in the shade Obsessed and we're gonna let her go as well. I missed this little cutie from Pat McGrath as well. And this one here is in the shade Elson. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I use the heck out of this one, so we're gonna let it go. I have this from CoverGirl. I don't even think they make it anymore. Um, this was in the shade Hus 610 Hustler. Um, it looks like 
Daisy got a hold of this or Minnie got a hold of this as a puppy. Um, I don't remember much about the lipstick. Honestly, it's like a nice neutral shade, but is it like super unique that I need to be holding on to it for 10 years? No. So this is going to go. This one is by Paracone MD and I got this in a boxy charm and I got it, mind you, I got it. Um, I think it was like December, November, December's boxy charm of 2020, um, which is conveniently when it expired. So it's never, been, it's never been good. I've never used it. And I don't know if you can see, but it like has some mold growing on the side. So we're going to go ahead and throw that away. That this is exactly why I canceled my boxy charm, to be honest, because I got this and I was just so irritated. Like, why would you send me an expired? Why would you send anyone an expired product? Just throw it away. You know, there's this one by L'Oreal. Um, I think it's like a super nude shade. Yeah. So it's like super nude with some sparkle in there, but it's old and it just needs to go. I have three of these Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks. Um, I did swatch them on the back of my hand. They're like super shiny with just like a kiss of color. And I really like these with a lip liner. So I am gonna hold on to these. These are a super cost effective formula too. So definitely gonna hold on to these. I have two more of the Revlon lipsticks. These are a different formula though. Um, these are matte and I have the darker shade here um, is called Pick Me Up, and then this lighter shade is called Make It Pink. Honestly, this Make It Pink color is like my favorite <laughs> color. Um, I just love the cool toned light pink on me, so I'm going to keep both of these. And now a brief interruption for a boop from a floof. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. I have these two products by Marc Jacobs and as much as I want to hold on to them because they're a really pretty formula, they, Marc Jacobs Beauty doesn't even exist anymore. So that means they need to go because they're super old. So I'm just gonna let these go. I have three of the infamous Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. Um, I honestly, I had more. Um, I used these because I personally was mine, like I had, I think maybe one or two that had some like weird stuff going on, but mine were largely okay. Um, but I, yeah, so I'm gonna keep these like in the makeup vault. I'm certainly not using them anymore. At this point, they're too old. Um, and if you mix that in with the fact that they were like a little sketchy to begin with, um, I'm just not gonna be using these, but I am gonna keep these in my makeup vault. These two bullet lipsticks um, are by Pat McGrath Labs. I got these this year. Um, it was part of their pride collection and it was just too pretty not to get. Um, so I admittedly have not even used them yet and I'm scared to because they're so freaking stunning. And here it is, another bullet red lipstick, but it was so, it was just too pretty. I could not say no, so I'm gonna keep these. I have these three lipsticks that were part of the ColourPop and Barbie collaboration. Um, I honestly don't use this middle shade too often, but I do use these others quite often. I really enjoyed this formula. Um, it, it applies well, it wears well. It's certainly not like transfer proof, but it's super comfortable. So I am definitely going to keep these. These came with matching um, lip liners, which I also have, of course. Um, so I will be holding on to those. I have three little lipsticks from Melt Cosmetics. These are um, part of their, I can't remember which line it was. It came out, I wanna say Christmas last year, but these are all super bright and fun colors, but I am going to keep those. I have this Cinderella Lip Mousse by Sigma, and I'm going to hold on to that. I recently got this by Natasha Denona. It is, I think it's my dream lipstick, yeah. So it's like just a really beautiful nude color. I have the lip liner bouncing around here somewhere as well, gonna keep that. This is by Tom Ford. Um, here I am saying I don't like red bullet lipsticks, but this color is just like perfect. Um, the compact is also beautiful. I think I got this for Christmas one year, a um, couple of years back. I'm definitely gonna hold on to that one. This one is by Pure and Barbie. I think I got this at TJ Maxx. The color is pretty, don't get me wrong. Um, it's a little deeper than I would like, but I will hold on to it for now because I think realistically it's a color I'll use. And this is another one of those where it's like a super satiny formula, like a formula with a lot of sheen. 
and I personally happen to really like these. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this one. I have this one by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's the only one I have. I don't think I bought it like personally. I think I probably got it in like a mystery box and this is in the shade Diet Mannequin. I am gonna hold on to this one because again, I already have it and I think it's a shade that I'll get use out of. And then this is by Ciate London and it is this like a bronze, I'm not sure that the light is doing it justice, but it's like super shimmery, bronzy lipstick. But the snafu here is that it then applies super bronzy. Um, the lipstick itself is beautiful, but I am honestly not gonna walk around wearing that color lipstick, so I'm gonna pass this on. I have this by Too Faced, and I think that Too Faced did themselves a significant disservice discontinuing these. These were so good, so good. Um, honestly, I'm gonna keep this one because it doesn't appear to have any signs of mold or grossness. And these were so freaking good. I wish that they never discontinued these lipsticks. These were absolutely my favorite bullet lipsticks to ever exist. I have this little doodad by Wayne Goss and it is in the shade Amaryllis. I think that's a really pretty nude. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it. I have this lipstick, beautiful packaging, super weighty. And this one is by Lena Chu. And again, it's like another really nice, but this one is actually a little more corally orange, um, but still leaning nude. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Our last two, this is a um, Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> mini lipstick. I think it's Pillow Talk Medium, I'm fairly confident. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. And then our last one is by NARS. And I'm not sure what is going on here. It looks, yeah, I guess it's just like a topper shade. I'm not gonna use that. So I'm gonna pass that right along. So these are all of the lipsticks and lip glosses that I am getting rid of. There are 68. Um, so I'm honestly really happy <laughs> with that number. Um, I'm sure that in the springtime slash summer, I'm gonna wanna go through these again and maybe dwindle even more down, but I just really needed to do a deep declutter on my lip drawers because it was wildly out of hand. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It would mean so much to me if you would subscribe to my channel down below. As always, please stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.